The fallout between former President Trump and the Justice Department and the FBI has intensified. The agencies believe Trump had classified documents with national security implications. They were sensitive enough that investigators wanted to get them back and immediately. This comes after both agencies made the request to unseal the warrant used to search Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. ABC's Ike Jachi is live in Washington, D.C. this morning with the very latest developments. Good morning, Ike. Good morning, Maggie. Sources say officials within the Justice Department believe former President Trump was not complying with requests to hand over those sensitive documents. This morning, multiple sources now tell ABC News that the Justice Department and the FBI believe former President Trump continued to keep sensitive classified documents that had national security implications. Sources say the information in the documents was sensitive enough that authorities were eager to take it back into their possession. During the search at Mar-a-Lago, sources claim investigators were looking for material labeled special access, which is accessible only to people with the highest security clearances. Attorney General Merrick Garland addressing the search on camera for the first time Thursday, saying he signed off on the FBI's actions himself. I personally approve the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. Second, the department does not take such a decision lightly. Garland also announced the department filed a court motion to unseal and make public two key documents, the search warrant and the so-called receipt, listing the items taken by federal agents, citing, quote, the public's clear and powerful interest in understanding what occurred. ABC News has learned Trump was subpoenaed for the documents earlier this year after a visit by a smaller group of FBI agents in early June. The search on Monday came only after the Justice Department concluded Trump had not turned over everything demanded by the subpoena. That could explain why the Department of Justice felt the need to go in there with a criminal search warrant. Maybe this is the explanation for why they had to use these more intrusive means, that because they tried to subpoena it, they tried to get the documents, and they didn't get them. And overnight, the former president saying in a statement he won't oppose the release and implying he's going a step further by encouraging the immediate release of those documents. Now, former President Trump's attorney had been given a copy of the warrant, which would include an inventory of the items that were taken. And there's absolutely nothing preventing Trump from releasing those documents and making them public right now. Maggie, back All to right, you. All right, we'll stay tuned. Thanks, Ike.